Hey everybody and welcome to the Jedi Knight's Watch. My name is Graham and today we're going to be looking at Yelena from the Black Widow movie. This is a Hot Toys 1-6 scale figure and I just want to thank Brick Artemis for borrowing this figure to me and letting me do this review because this was a figure that when she was first announced a long time ago, I really wanted and I like the movie. It's not the best Marvel movie, but I, I enjoyed it. So, um, you know, times changed and I kind of shifted my focus more to main characters. So I kind of dismissed this figure, but I, you know, I'm looking forward to reviewing this. Maybe it'll change my mind, but taking a look at the box, it's a really cool design. You got Yelena on the front and again this is going to be the Black Widow movie and it's going to be MMS 622 I really like the design of this box you got the nice whites and the dark greens kind of like the white suit plus the green vest kind of going on you got the Black Widow logo there on the side with the vertical font of Yelena and the Hot Toys information it's a really really nice art box it is going to be a slip cover style and when we remove that we do have an image of Yelena herself and it is a window display box which we see quite often but uh, just going back taking a look at this photo a little bit closer it's really nice touch by Hot Toys I like the artwork this is of the actress herself not the figure um, but it just gives a little bit more vibrancy to these boxes once we get it onto the table we're gonna work to get this figure out of the box so that we can get on with this review. I'm excited to see her. We can see her briefly and under all that wrapping and the clamshell. So let's just try to take all that off and kind of see what we're dealing with here. And, and my first impressions are very, very positive. Comes with a lot of stuff. I think the figure looks really, really good. And I do think just from the first impressions that this is a figure that looks a lot better in person as opposed to like photographs or you know on on video so let's get her out and before we take a look at her and the accessories we're going to start with this base and i know this is kind of like the most boring part because marvel kind of comes out with some of the most boring bases and again this is our typical marvel base the black widow logo is going to be you know glossy and then the rest is going to have like this rough finish to it and a matte finish and it does say Yelena Belova on the front and we have the normal crotch grabber which kind of extends forward a little bit so that the figure sits in the middle of the base which is perfectly fine um, so yeah not much to talk about here it's your typical Marvel base it looks fine but at the same time you know it's kind of boring so now let's get the accessories out onto the table and take a look at everything that comes with our figure and we'll start with this headset here it's really nicely done lots of detail the mouthpiece here is able to kind of move up and down. You do have some weathering on the um, the headset as well. And it's just really, really, really nice. You got some wiring even. Just a really cool piece. Not something that I'm going to have on her, but I will pose her with it. We also have the pistol. It's going to be in a matte black finish. It is going to be spring-loaded, and I couldn't get the mag out for the life of me. I just couldn't get my fingers down in there and get that out. Going to the daggers, they're also going to be this flat black paint application they look really nice they're really small really skinny I really like uh, the hands that they fit in and we'll talk about those in a little bit but I really like those those knives are pretty cool and then we have the batons these are gonna be fully articulating batons and um, you can pretty much do whatever you want get them into any type of look and then have her just holding them and getting into some action shots so really cool there they also give you these two um, that are non articulated which are really nice and then you get the ones where she puts them together so again it's really nice that hot toys gives you the option we get a lot of of array of hands here with different types of gestures we have pistol holding hands we have knife holding hands we have tight fisted hands we have relaxed hands we have baton holding hands so again really cool thing about these is well they look nice you know they have the fingerless gloves and you know, once you've seen one hand, you've kind of seen them all, but they, they do look really good. The paint application is sharp. The nails look good and kind of glossy. So just that extra detail. And then they did give us some buttons too, which isn't something that we usually see. So that's really nice. But getting the figure out of the box, getting our first glimpse here. Again, I'm really impressed. I do think this head sculpt looks good. I think it looks like Miss Pew, you know, the actress. I can't remember her first name. So... I'm just going to call it that for the whole video. But no, I think it looks good. The, the white jumpsuit is amazing and it looks really good. The The new body that they use looks really, really good as well. I think the proportions look great. They look natural. They look realistic. 
I think the head sculpt looks a lot better than, again, in photos or videos. I think it looks amazing, but let's just get her in hand and even analyze this even closer here. Again, this, this white suit just jumps off the screen to me, but let's start at the head sculpt. The profile looks dead on. You got all this detail, the earrings and the ears. I really love it. I think this looks just like Yelena herself. And uh, man, I can't say enough about how good this is. The the hair, the sculpted hair is really nice, done up in a bun with some strands kind of hanging down. Looks really, really good, really realistic. I think Hot Toys knocks it out of the park when it comes to that. The vest is magnetic, so you don't have to worry about a zipper. Speaking of zipper, this is going to be fixed. So fellas, you know, don't get any ideas here. But it's so nice and easy how to put this vest back together. Really, really cool. Looks good too, with like this, it's like a dark, dark green slash gray and it really just blends in it just contrasts well with the white suit um, she's got like these this um holster of three knives which is unique and really really cool i like how that looks um, you got the belt here and then you have the pistol um, holster here as well the um, elbow pads the shoulder pads and the knee pads are all fixated to the suit and they all have some some weathering on them just to kind of give a little bit of weathering to this figure overall she's pretty clean but i still think it's a nice touch of weathering i think the clean factor looks good the the boots are going to be fully sculpted as well and they look great so um, they're also going to be a split cut boot design so it's really going to help with articulation of the figure um, and they look good you know the the tread on the bottom is a nice touch of detail the laces are all sculpted in this is a really really nice figure and one that really is a uh, attractive to the eye i guess like i don't know something about her she just looks so natural and realistic it doesn't look like a barbie doll or like a different like sometimes these these characters just don't look right and i think this one looks amazing taking a look here at articulation you're gonna get a lot of movement in the head and neck because the neck is going to be able to pivot but then so is the head arms you can easily get to a 90 degree angle you're going to be able to do whatever you kind of want with this figure get her into any pose she's really easy to pose like the body doesn't seem too tight but it doesn't seem too loose it's like that sweet spot where you can really do whatever you want it's got the butterfly joint in the arm and the swivel got some crunch going on in the abdomen area too and then also a little bit of twist in there as well so you can kind of get her in some awesome poses there once you go down to the legs the articulation does suffer a bit like this is kind of as far as we can move the legs here i think the pants restrict it there is some swivel in the thigh um then a nice double bend in the knee um so good there but um you know just splits is okay uh, the split cut boot design is again going to be really helpful it got some rock some swivel and um, that's going to help you just be able to get her to stand and be a little bit more solid. But man, I, I'm super impressed with this figure. Now let's get her with the white suit Black Widow. And just so you can see, they look amazing together. This is really the chef's kiss. So if you're like Brick Artemis and you have these two on your display, they're going to look outstanding together. I really like them both a lot. Um, but if you're like me and you have the Endgame Black Widow, here is just how it looks with those two together, and I still think this works. I think the contrast from black to white looks really good, and I do think you could work Yelena into your Avengers, you know, type of display if you really wanted to do that. But now let's get her into some poses and talk about some of the things that I like and some things not so much, starting with the things that I really like. The first thing is going to be the body and the the like natural, the realistic proportions to Yelena. I think that's one of the best things about this figure is she just looks realistic. The head sculpt is amazing as well, and I love the sculpted hair. Um, the next thing that I like is going to be the knife hands. It's just really cool when you have these knife hands and you can just slide the knives right in. There's just that little open spot and the knives just slide right in. It's just super cool, super easy to get her to hold the knives. And then last thing that I really like about the figure is just this magnetic vest. I have the Hawkeye Ronin figure, the deluxe, and the zipper, it frays the fabric and it's really hard to zip. So it's just really cool that they, they don't have a zipper here, that it's really just magnetic and so easy to, to maneuver around. So I really like that a lot. Now for some things that I didn't like as much, there's really not much here. Um, the things that come to mind is really just the lower body articulation is a little bit annoying. Just the fact that the upper body is so good at getting her to pose, but the lower body is a little bit restrictive. But you can still do a lot with the figure, so it's definitely not a deal breaker. 
And then also the base is boring. I mean, it's your typical Marvel base, so we've come to expect that. But at the same time, it's just annoying to me and it's just kind of a knock. And I'm being nitpicky here. There's really not much that I didn't like. You know, the figure looks great. The head sculpt is amazing. She comes with a, a good amount of accessories. So there's really not much here to just really not like. Um, you know, I, I definitely want to get her in my collection. This is one that I dismissed a while back. But I think I'm going to wait for her to kind of go on like a discount before I pick her up. I don't want to pay full retail, but I do want this figure in the collection at some point. So it's definitely going to happen. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you think about this figure. Do you have her in your collection? Are you thinking about picking her up? Did this video sway you in one way or another? I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell so you don't miss any new content coming your way. And until next time, stay safe out there, and we'll see you soon.